What's up, y'all? It's your girl, and I'm back for another video. So I'm gonna do. Uh, hey guys, this is Drama Mommy Chrissy. She came on last night with another night video with Chrissy chat. speaking about her husband, one of these. and she thinks that he left her it's and been a minute, for but another woman. You guys go ahead and watch this video. Right, girl, so Leave me a comment down below. Let me know check. what you guys think. I want to talk and yeah, we'll a little bit about right, how guys. I'm feeling right now. Um, and things that are going on. Stuff that people are saying on the internet. In response to what I put up. And then I kind of want to put this situation in the back of my mind. As much as I can. Because I really need to focus. And sitting here and doing the back and forth it's just draining emotionally i'm already racking my brain daily about what's going on and it just doesn't help to have to keep explaining myself over and over again so um it's time to kind of like move on for now i know there's more things more conversations that need to be had like about the kids and you know him coming back into their life eventually but right now this is so fresh and so new this not have like we're not even at that point of talking about it so when that time comes we'll chat about that but for right now i kind of need to move on i know it's hard for a lot of us to do but i do have a regular life to live outside of youtube so <laughs> yeah let's go i got my little blanket um by the way lighting is not the best because it's dark and i got the boys here blazes in my bed jumbo's over their sleep and i don't want to really wake them up i have the air on it's on auto so it's going to come on it's going to turn off you guys may or may not hear that but since i'm talking low and it's generally quiet you may hear it so for one you okay all right um first off let me start off by saying Thank you guys to everybody who sent me words of encouragement, just notes saying, I'm praying for you, just any and everything. If you emailed me, if you messaged me on Facebook, if you DM me on Instagram or Snapchat, just know that I received that and I really thank you from the bottom of my heart everything, for all of the words of encouragement and support, everything. I haven't had a chance to read and respond to everybody yet because it's literally overwhelming. There's so many of you guys that reached out. I just wanna let you know that I've seen a lot of your messages and I am gonna write you back because I think that if you took the time to reach out to me, it's only fair to, to respond back and let you know that I received your message and that I thank you for that. Um, so I'm gonna, I wanna do everybody. It's just gonna take me some time because I'm busy with everything that's going on. But just know that I thank you and that you will be getting a personal response from me. I talked a little bit more about our history on my cooking channel. And after I did that, I kind of felt bad because I felt like, okay, I didn't say anything good about him. And I don't want to make it seem like everything about him has always been negative. Because it hasn't been. Um, and then I was like, you know, wait a minute. Don't feel guilty about speaking your truth. This is really how it's been. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been, you know, roses and kisses and, you know, butterflies. This entire time it's been hard and a lot of ups and downs. And so I just spoke my truth. Um, there, there are a lot of good things to, to be said about my husband. You know, he's had my back at times when nobody else has. But overall, as far as a relationship, I don't feel like he's ready for what this entails. I think that he tried and I think that he wanted to be. I just don't think that he is mentally or physically capable of living the lifestyle that I live um, and being happy doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot on anybody. Um, but at the same time, he knew what it was when he met me. He knew what it was when he met my kids and my family. He knew what it was when um, we got serious. He knew what it was when we got married. He knew what it was this entire four years. So it's not like our life just changed randomly or all of a sudden it's been like this. So... I don't want to use that as an excuse as to why he 
is being the way that he is. Also because you guys are just now hearing about this and I've been living with it for four years. I know a lot of you guys probably wondering like, how do you feel? Like how, what's going on? Has he tried to reach out to you? Like, I'm, I wanna push it to the back of my mind, but I can't. Look around, I mean, my house is a mess. It's in, it's in, it's in a disarray right now just because we are moving. I'm trying to pack all these boxes myself. I'm trying to coordinate this entire thing by myself. And it's not, I mean, it's not abnormal for me to do this type of thing by myself, but it's just, right now I'm in a place in my life where I'm seven months pregnant and in my third trimester, I'm tired. Um, I'm, I feel weak most of the time and mentally I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm going through a lot. So it would be nice to have some help, but I'm just trying to push through. So I'm starting. I, I beat myself up so much because I want to be able to do what I'm normally able to do. It's just, I'm in the third trimester. I'm pregnant as I don't know what, and I have expectations for myself as if I'm not even pregnant. And I think that's not realistic, but, so I'm like, I feel like I've been packing my room for three days. I'm like, I need to, I need to move on to other parts of the house, but I do have a lot done. When I look at it, I'm like, okay, I did a lot. You know, I pushed all the boxes that I have packed to the hallway. There's a lot of stuff that's, that, I've already taken down and dealt with. I just, it's just going, it's just, you know, getting everything together and dealing with the stuff that hasn't been dealt with already that's overwhelming. And just knowing that I'm the only one who's doing it. I know I got the kids doing things, they're helping me and things like that, but I really am not getting much help. Cause really I'm the adult who's doing everything. <laughs> so yeah, it's stressful, I'm tired. All I wanna do is lounge around I'm aching most of the day, but I push through. So anyway, when I think about it, I, 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 I'm so resentful right now. And I'm just, I don't, I don't know if I want to say shocked because I feel like we've been here before. And so I'm not surprised. I feel like I, a part of me feels like I should be more hurt than I am. But I don't feel that bad. I don't feel that hurt. I think I'm shocked. I think that I am angry at this point. I'm not as sad as I was when I did the first video. I'm more of angry. And um, that's why I cut his shit up. And people are mad about that. But that's my husband. And he left that shit he abandoned it and i have the right to do what i want to do people are like trying to make videos thinking that i'm gonna catch a case over that like my husband's gonna fresh charges on me or something like that grow up the man doesn't even care about his own kids and you think he's gonna care about some five-year-old sneakers or five-year-old pair of jeans give me a break like sis really Look deep into my eyes and give me a fucking break. But like I said, that was my therapy and I don't apologize for it and I'm not going to apologize for it. So I'm sorry if you don't like it or if you didn't like it. But I think a majority of us women who've been in a hurt place, if we haven't done worse things than that, could totally understand where I was coming from and why I did what I did. Um, yeah, so that's that. But I digress. My feelings right now, like I was saying, are just mad. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm mad, and um, I think I, I think I'm even more mad that he didn't even try to. I think that I think I'm even more mad that he's been back out there for days and he hasn't even tried to message me. He hasn't even texted me, and I think that that further solidifies how done we both are. Um, he has not tried to reach out one time. 
and say, hey, are you okay? I know you're mad at me, but are you okay? Are you guys getting moved okay? Are the boys okay? Are the kids okay? Is everything okay? Now, he may not care. He may not, whatever. I may still be livid even if he sent me that. Honestly, if he texted me that, I would still be fucking mad. I would be ready to text him back. You know what? Fuck you. If you wanted to know how okay we were doing, why'd you leave? You know, I might be mad. But at least I would know that there's a part of him that's still concerned about what our well-being is. And I think that him being gone shows he does not give a fuck. I think that him being gone stacked on top of him not even trying to reach out. Um, and it's been almost a week. Just further stacks on top of the issue here. Um, I'm, I'm not in the business of giving him the benefit of the doubt anymore. I did that for four years. The expectations are, you know, expectations. I, I'm, I don't even know what to expect. I know that at some point he's going to reach out. And by that point, I'm going to be so bitter. I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be so scarred. I'm going to be so pissed. There's probably going to be no communication at all from my end. That's basically how I'm feeling. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad that he's not here. And I'm mad that he didn't care enough to even ask, oh, are you okay? I know I'm gone. I have a lot. I mean, anything. Say something. Even if you don't get a response, reach out. And say, I know you don't get why I left. Or you're upset that I left. Or whatever. Any combination of any words. String them together and make a sentence and press send. You know what I'm saying? Like, try at least you know I received it. At least you know that I know that you may be gone, but you haven't just up and left and you're a free, free, free person. Um, in my live stream, one of my live streams after my first initial video, I said, I hate him. And I told him that I did. And somebody was like, how could you have hate in your heart? Easy. I mean, not easy. It took four years to get here. But put yourself in my shoes for just a second. And then you'll understand where the hate comes from. And I don't hate easily. And I don't hate a lot. But, yes, I do hate him. For what he's done. I know that people make a mockery of my life. And they think that, oh, you know... This is either for views, which, look around, ain't nobody here. Life is a mess. Welcome to it. <laughs> um, you know, and the other half are just like, very critical. As if you've never been cheated on. Very critical as if you've never been left by a man. Um and that's the thing that really i think that's what irritates me the most about the reaction videos is that people always have something to say and i haven't watched the reaction videos but i can get make string two and two together just by thumbnails and be like Ooh, wait a minute are you trying to say that i'm wrong <laughs> you know what i'm saying sis do you know what i went through for four years no you don't sis were you there have you been here? No, sis, you haven't. So please, please don't. Out of everything that's been said about what I'm going through, the thing that really irritated me the most, I say, was a girl, and I said girl because she was a lot younger than me, like by eight years younger than me. Um, and she messaged, she commented on my Instagram. She didn't send me a personal message. She commented on my Instagram was like, I know what he did was wrong, but sounds like he's going through some things and you didn't support him so that's like messed up of me and i was like er? first of all you don't know enough of what i you only know what i you can only go off of what i explained to you and you don't know what i've been through and you don't know the entire story like you don't know enough to properly say you didn't support him 
Because, honey, oh, I supported him for four years. You know what I'm saying? Emotionally, physically. I went through the emotions with this man for four years. Four. Okay, now I know it's not 40 and I know it's not 14, but four is a lot. The four years of my life to be walked out on is a lot. It's a waste of my time. So, yeah, I have a right to be angry. And no, I'm not coddling anybody. At that moment when I